Hello class, this is a video tutorial on reciprocal functions, also known as two um, inverse proportions. Two variables are inversely proportional if their product is a constant. So if we take two values, x and y, if we keep changing the values of x and y, and we keep multiplying them, and it comes out that they're always the same constant, they are inversely proportional. If we rearrange these by dividing by x, so in this case here we divide x and we divide x, these two cancel, and it gets k over x, and this gives us the reciprocal function. So here are three examples of what that might be, 1 over x, negative 2 over x, or even 10 over x. Um, by completing this table of values and graphing them, we'll begin to see what these might look like and we'll outline some of the key features uh, um, after we've finished graphing these. So, here we go. Very straightforward, just using your calculator. You can input the values in, so 1 over negative 2 gives us negative half, or is negative 0.5 deleting this value, negative 1.5, we get negative 0 0.6 recurring. Dividing by negative 1, that should give us negative 1, and dividing by negative half, we get negative 2. Now take a look at what happens when we try and sub try and do 1 divided by 0. In this case, it won't let me. In your instance, you will get something that says math error. So in this case, we leave this blank because we actually can't find an answer for 1 divided by 0. Continu uh, continuing on, remember it's 1 over x. So it's going to be 1 over positive 0 0.5 gives us 2, 1 over 1, gives us 1, 1 over 1.5, positive 0 0.6 recurring, and 1 over 2, that's just 0 0.5. Graphing these, we should get two values like so, uh, sorry, two branches like so. so negative 2, negative half. So negative 2 is here, that's half is going to be here, and there we have negative 1.5, negative 0 0.6. 0 0.6 is slightly larger, so this is going to be 1.5 here, this is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 7.5, so slightly below that, should be around about here. At negative 1, we get negative 1, so should be around about here. And at negative half, we get negative 2. Negative half, negative 2. Now if we graph these, you can see that it's a curve going downwards. Whoops, try to make this as smooth as possible. Like so. It skips x equals zero, so there's nothing along 0 and we repeat it again so at 0 0.5 we get 2 0 0.5 is here we get 2 at 1 we get 1 1 1.5 we get 0 0.6 this is 0 0.5 so we know that's going to be there might be approximately there so graphing this one
continues like so. so you should actually get two branches like this. Let's do another example. In this case, we go a lot faster now. So negative 2 over negative 3, get 0 0.6 recurring. Substituting negative 2, we get positive 1. Substituting negative 1, we get positive 2. Substituting 0 0.5, we get positive 4. As we saw last time, if we try and do negative 2 divided by 0, it doesn't let me. And in your calculators, you'll get math error, so we'll skip that part. Substituting 0 0.5, we get negative 4. Substituting 1, get negative 2. And I'm hoping you're beginning to see the pattern here. These values are the same ones here, just negative. So we get 1 and 0 0.6 recurring. Graphing these out, yet. 0 0.54 1 negative 1 2 1 2 2 negative sorry negative 2 1 3 0 0.6 and I'm sure for this one we get half we actually get this curve like so. And for the other side, it's near identical, but it's going along this way. So graphing this, we get half, negative 4, one, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 3, negative, should be, these should have been negative, sorry, negative 0 0.6, that will be a half, so it should be somewhat like this. And these what inverse will, um, functions look like. Now here are the key features that we are looking so with inverse function, the first thing that we need to understand, it has two branches and is symmetrical in opposite quadrants. So this is, this area here is one quadrant, it's another quadrant, and these two branches of the function are actually symmetrical to each other. So there's like a mirror going down this way. You can see that they are identical or well, they should be identical on either side. Same goes for this one. These two curves here and here should be identical along that line. There's a mirror along that line. There are again asymptotes. So at x equals zero. So that line there, the function gets closer and closer on this side and it gets closer and closer on this side. Same goes for y, sorry, this line, the y-axis. This curve gets closer and closer along this way and gets closer and closer along this side. So those two are, again, um, asymptotes. And lastly, as you've seen, that there is no value for when y equals zero. So at this point here, there is no value when, sorry, there's no um, value for y when x is equal to 0. So this line here will never touch this side or this side. So that gives you an insight into what the quadratic function might look like. In the next videos, you'll see um, how we might apply these to different 
um, scenarios and different models. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.